Good morning, my darlings, from beautiful Barcelona. I decided to break our travel vlog down into two because I actually filmed quite a lot while we were in Sitges and Graf. So to catch you up, in case you didn't watch it to the end of that one, we are now spending three days here in Barcelona. We decided to book ourselves into the Soho house and we have got the most gorgeous room. I think on the website, this was one of their corner I think it's called a corner room. Um, it's number 52 in case you want this exact one if you do come to visit because it really is the most gorgeous room. I did a little room tour before our stuff exploded all over it at the end of my last vlog. So you can go and check that out if you'd like a full little room tour. But as you can see behind me, some really beautiful furniture, like this gorgeous, they've got some gorgeous old leather armchairs, beautiful fabrics. Some, some really lovely old um, panelling on the walls. I'm trying not to get this table in the reflection of the mirror because that is where we have just dumped all of our stuff. So last night we had tapas here on the roof and I've said many a time before but the food here at Soho House Barcelona is my favourite Spanish food I think I have ever had and definitely my favorite Soho House food. They have the ham croquettes, they have the most incredible patatas bravas, jamón ibérico, oh my gosh, it was just absolutely delicious and I had, gosh, three or four Eastern standards <laughs> last night as well. And then we just went on a little walk around the port, which actually you can see from this angle of our room and oh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. It's very, very far in the distance, but I always think it's just absolutely fascinating looking at super yachts and also trying to guess the price because I don't know if any of you guys know about the world of super yachts, but it really is. Let's see if we can open this up. Just the most insane <laughs> other world. So there was a, a yacht down here that we saw last night called Lady Maura, I think it was called. Cool. Oh, there it is. You can see it over there, Lady Lady Mora, um, and we googled it and it is a 200 million pound yacht. Absolutely insane, but it looks like it's going to be another gorgeous day, a little bit of haze. That is the W Hotel over there, the one that looks like a sail. Um, and then if we go to our other window, gosh that temperature is glorious. I'm gonna head up to the roof terrace as soon as I've got myself ready and um, have a coffee up there while I do some emails. Charlie's in the gym. Oh my goodness, so the hotel is on this beautiful square. And just the other side of this building is La Rambla, which is one of the most famous long, it's like a market street really, but I think we are going to be ultimate tourists today and we're going to explore on the open top bus which is actually just the best way of seeing all the main kind of touristy sites. So that is our plan for today. We are going to be tourists today. We are here with my mum and my brother as well. Unfortunately, as they're not members, they're not able to stay in the same hotel as us. But Charlie was ultra determined to stay at the Soho house, especially so that he could use the gym. Um, so my mum and Jamie, my brother, are staying at a really gorgeous little boutique hotel, just three minute walk down the road called the Whitmore. And I have to say, it's absolutely stunning. I will show you a little bit of that um, when we go to pick them up later because it's just tucked down a little side street and you'd never know it's there. And it's really, well, boutique -y is the way to describe it. It's got a gorgeous courtyard, a little um, pool on the roof as well. But anyway, without further ado, I'm expecting a coffee to arrive any second. I'm going to pop my makeup on. I've set myself up a little station here with my fabulous beauty effect box. I showed you this, um, well, I showed you this quite a few times before, but it now comes with me everywhere that I go when I'm traveling. So my beauty effect box is essentially my dressing table, my makeup bag, my lighting system. Sometimes hotel rooms can be very dark and something that I find very annoying, <laughs> hello, about so many hotel rooms is that they just don't put mirrors in the right places. Like, let me show you, for example. Let me show you 
where the dressing table is in here. I've just been ironing some dresses. This dark little corner here, my camera can't even cope with the darkness, is um, the dressing table setup, which is really lovely <laughs> that they've provided this space, but I, my camera is actually making it about 20 times lighter than it actually is but there is absolutely no way I'd be able to do my makeup in this lighting. I'd come outside and I'd be a completely different colour to what I intended to be. I Oh, that's my coffee. Perfect timing. Sorry, that interrupted my chain of thought, but I'm sure it wasn't that important anyway. Oh yes, I was saying how I always need to do my makeup in daylight, or at least decent lighting. So one of, I mean, my top choice <laughs> would be to put my Beauty Effect box, and because you know, the lid has got this fabulous big mirror in there. It's great for just setting up and you don't have to worry about bringing another mirror with you or doing your makeup in a tiny mirror. Number one ideal thing to do is sit somewhere where the natural light is coming in and hitting you on your face. But as you can see, it has got these two light strips on the actual mirror. You can change the intensity of the lights, so that is super intense. You can change the color of the lighting. I always like to do my makeup in the harshest light possible. So this is like a cool morning light, or if you are going to a lovely romantic restaurant, you could put on this warm lighting, and really, that's daylight. Um, you can really create the lighting similar to where you're going to be spending time that day so that you can get your makeup looking um, true and natural and and not have any little marks or any crazy color combinations. So let's turn it off just in case it's making my camera go a little bit funny. The mirror is protected by these oops, two little um, sections here. You can see all of my, let's just move the coffee back for a second. Sorry, I probably should have actually tidied this before showing you, but this is a real life glimpse into my makeup box. Oh, this this would actually make Charlie really upset with how unorganized this is, but I was getting ready really quickly last night and just kind of threw everything in here. But I'll give you a little tour. Um, so I have got a selection of my makeup brushes on the side here. Beauty Effect also make makeup brushes and they are not only beautiful, it's almost like a platinum, rose gold shade they're so practical this one is great for your um if you want to do a little eyeliner or brushing up your brows eyeshadow brushes uh where are my bronzer brushes there we go yes yeah, sorry it's not super organized um but as you can see it just fits absolutely all of my products and then on this side i've got my 111 skin eye masks these little elasticated band areas just help keep your items organized and usually when i haven't been rushing to get my makeup done <laughs> this all looks lovely and organized as well um beauty effect also make the most incredible sorry very well used i think last time i showed you my beauty effect box everything was perfectly organized um and brand new but this is a more real <laughs> real view of how i do my makeup yes the beauty effect makeup sponges are absolutely incredible literally the best makeup sponges in the business. So I am going to start my makeup, as you can see, just a little bit glowy at the moment. I also love the fact that this mirror doesn't distort in any way. Sometimes you get makeup bags with mirrors and they're just a little bit kind of <laughs> warped, whereas this is a really true mirror, which is just super duper handy. Um, and one final thing which I love about Beauty Effect is that they plant a tree for every box sold, which is really really wonderful so i'm gonna get started with some moisturizer i've actually bought this little mini of the l'occitane divine cream with me it's just really really lovely and hydrating i normally keep my skincare in a separate box but because i apply my moisturizer and my and my SPF before, my, before doing my makeup, they are in here. So today, because I am applying a little bit of makeup for a day around town, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Invisible UV Poreless, Flawless Poreless Primer. Um, and then my latest obsession, I literally adore this so much. It is the Aborian Super BB, so you get all of the benefits of um, the Korean skincare benefits in here. It's got ginseng, which is really smoothing. It's got niacinamide, great for clearing the skin, but also gives really lovely natural coverage. 
So I'm gonna use that as my base and then just my usuals. Um, I've got this lovely Golan bronzer with me. And then of course my By Terry Beach Bomb palette, By Terry powder, the Beauty Pie Sheer Tinted Oil Free SPF. This is a little bit lighter. In fact, I'm gonna do this for the day and I'm going to do the Arborian BB in the evening. But darlings, I'm gonna leave you on a little time lapse while I apply my makeup. Let's add a little bit of, maybe I'll take some photos today. One of these settings is a photo light, which is incredible. Um, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee, put my makeup on, do my hair, and <laughs> change, change into the dress that I'll be wearing for today. And um, then it's time to head out and explore Barcelona. Well, half an hour later and, well, maybe maybe 40 minutes later, I am finally ready. I've added some curls to my hair, not sure how long they will last. Um, and I have done a nice, fresh, glowy makeup, Factor 50 um, primer, and then my actual makeup is SPF 20 as well, so hopefully it will be okay in the sun. I have got my La Roche Factor 50, I'm not gonna be going in the sea today. I think, I'm pretty sure most sun creams these days are ocean friendly, um, but this one I know is really good for being long lasting. So I've got that all over my chest and my shoulders and my arms, because if we're going to be on an open top bus tour, then I need to be protected. Um, and then I'm gonna take my green Loewe bag with me. You might be able to spot I've got my fan in there, inspired by Freddy. I think we might need it today. And then this is my Zimmerman dress, which I've had for a couple of years now, and I'm pretty sure I got this from the Outnet. What I might do later to avoid tan lines is these straps actually disconnect, so I could just <laughs> be strapless sat on the top of the bus, but I think for breakfast and walking around, I will um, leave the straps on. And then I've got my Valentino rock studs, same as I wore last night because they literally go with everything and they are super duper comfortable. So this is my outfit of the day. We're gonna head to the club floor here to have breakfast and then we will begin our touristy day in Barcelona. It's a pure coincidence, but my bag and my sunglasses are both Loewe, which is of course a Spanish brand. These are the ones which I got from, oh, look how dirty they are, my goodness. I actually got a cleaning cloth in here. Let's give them a scrub. Okay, so we finally made it out of the hotel and we are being uber tourists today, getting the open yep. top bus tour. Did you do it with me last time or did I do it by myself? I, <laughs> confession, we, when we came to Barcelona, I think we were both super stressed with work. Yep. I was still working in uh, my previous industry. Yep. I think we had a bit of a falling out and I got off the bus tour because I'd had enough of it and you stayed on it. <clears throat> so, so this stubborn. time around, I you're think- You're actually gonna stick on the bus. I'm gonna stay on the bus. Look, I, Full disclosure, I'm not a huge fan of bus tours, but Josie's mum and brother are keen to do it, and you are, so I'm going along with it. I it's not my choice. I actually think it's the best way of seeing all of the sights. You're up high, you can see all of the sights. Sure it is, it's just um, not my favorite thing, but, but I'm, fun. I'm, I'm, um, fun. I'm, I'm gonna be making the most of it. Yes. It's lovely weather. It's great weather. Hot. Very, very warm. We, funnily enough, the same thing happened last night, but as Charlie and I were leaving the hotel, the chap that stands on the door was like, I would take your watches off if I were you. So I think yeah. that pickpocketing in Barcelona, pick, Barcelona is well known for pickpocketing, unfortunately. Like every major city is, it's always gonna be a little bit of a problem, but in Barcelona, it's quite well known for pickpocketing. So we're just gonna be ultra careful with bags. We've both taken off our watches. And I think maybe at the moment, post COVID, it's just yeah, a little bit I think, worse Yeah, I think it's good that people remind you just to be a bit vigilant. Um, I mean, look, even in London, you gotta be super careful. Uh, but I think, yeah, as you say, they see us as tourists, we stand out. 
But no, it's um, and maybe that's another reason why bus tour's good. Because you're on a bus, you're not exactly. walking around and it's not quite as risky. But exactly. Here we go, yeah. let's go see so the, the sights, mate. The buses come every 10 minutes, so we're just hanging out on the Plaza Catalunya, and then I think we're heading up La Rambla, but I'll try and get a window seat and I can show you all of the sights. Andiamo. What is it in Spanish? Vamos. They do the flower shaped ice creams and I've just seen that they have got a fresh batch of pistachio. Very tempting. I think this is quite possibly the most beautiful pistachio ice cream I have ever seen. We have freshly topped up our Factor 50 and we've managed to get the best seat on the bus who come to the front row like the cool kids that we are and just parked up outside La Sagrada Familia and it is rather spectacular. lunch although we can't necessarily recommend the, recommend the restaurant because the service was what would you say yeah. about the service darling so i would massively recommend the food yes. but the chefs were definitely let down by the by the service yeah, and it, it wasn't was even a case of being overly busy no. they just were really really quite grumpy and honestly some of the worst service i've ever had <laughs> however beyond that the food was really good i thought it's the best tapas we've had yeah so i do you know i would recommend it but not if you're in a rush yeah um I would go give it a go, but probably if, you, if you're going to have a late lunch. And it was recommended by Condé Nast Traveller, so Charlie booked a table. Um, yeah, the food was the food was delicious, yeah. but they definitely were preferring to serve their um, regular Spanish customers, and they had no interest in keeping us tourists happy, which is a bit of a shame. I don't think once during the meal, and it wasn't a, it wasn't an inexpensive meal, but once they came and asked, "Would you like another of this? Would you no. like this?" It was just a very much. Uh, like we had to grab the waiter for everything that we wanted. Yeah, which, which was, was a bit shame. disappointing, but yeah, and it, but, but the food was really good. Never so mind. we're gonna have lunch at Soha House again tomorrow because those tapas are delicious. So now my mum and Jamie have gone back on the bus. They're gonna do the rest of the route, and we are walking slowly back to the hotel. At the moment, this is Passe de Gracia, which is kind of like the Bond Street of um, Barcelona. We've got Saint Laurent in front of us. We've got um, Valentino, I think Dior, and most importantly, <laughs> most importantly, Lueve is on this street. I didn't even intend for us to come today, but <laughs> that just so sounds like too much of a coincidence. A very to me. happy coincidence. I'm going to put my camera away now because, you know, security. Yeah, be careful. But better, yeah. It's time to look at the shop. It's not my personal style, but this is the Gaudi architecture, which you see all around the city. Yeah, I like and it this. is quite striking. I like this, but is this not Gaudi? Um, I don't think it is. I think only this bit's Gaudi. A lot of the buildings are down here. I think it looks a bit like a Disneyland theme. It does, <laughs> yeah. Very um, modern for his time though. Like the warped metal and the curved structures. Definitely seen worse architecture. We couldn't be bothered to queue for Loewe. There was no one in the shop, and yet they wanted people to queue outside. So we've come into Mango, for some bits for Charlie instead. Got some nice greens. Love this. Didn't you just order a parasol in that colour as well? Yeah. It's lovely. Got a few different ones here. I'm being a little creep in the changing rooms. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Show me. 
Qué hermosa. Yeah, you fold them up a little bit. Well, good evening, my darlings. Can't remember the last time I spoke to you, possibly coming down Passe de Grafia. I've just done about an hour of work here at the hotel and I have now done a little bit of pampering ahead of going out tonight. I wanted to show you this dress, however I think I'm actually going to get changed because I am probably going to leave my hair scraped up and when I'm wearing a dress with voluminous sleeves and hair scraped up I always feel like a little bit of a bobble head. So um, this is probably my favourite dress right now. I wore it to the Chelsea Flowers show, I've got on my gorgeous Valentino rock studs, um, but I think it's actually just too voluminous for what I want to wear this evening. So. Here it is in all of its glory, but I am now going to get changed. I just had a major pampering session in the shower and I'm probably going to pop these in my day bag for tomorrow so that I can use them again before we head off tomorrow. We're going to spend the morning by the pool here, have a shower and then head home. I bought some of my favourites here from Mio. They are so perfect for on holiday. If you have been out in the sun or on the beach, it's really lovely to use a body scrub at the end of the day and this one is just the most perfect consistency, the right size grab granules that really deep cleanse and exfoliate the skin without being irritating and it smells heavenly um, and this is actually a micellar cleanser so it's really really deeply cleansing I love to use this with my exfoliating gloves and again just so perfect after the day on the beach infused with illuminating miracles boosts radiance while leaving the skin refreshed and nourished and I really feel like it does like when I'm on the beach wearing a bikini or by the pool it's always <laughs> even better if my skin is glowing and radiant. When I pop on the next dress, you'll see that it really is, and it's the most gorgeous consistency for using if you use exfoliating gloves, because even though it starts out like a gel, it really foams up. So also a really good body wash if you are shaving in the shower as well. I loved it so much when I used it at home that I thought I would bring that particular body wash with me. dress it's got these sweet little bows on the shoulders um, and it's a lot more comfortable and easy to wear for this evening I'm now going to apply this has been my favorite back at home and also a favorite here on holiday this is the Mio golden hour body moisturizer I'll show you up close it's got a little bit of shimmer in it and it's this beautiful golden color so if it's quite early on in your holiday and you just want to add a really gorgeous glow to your skin or highlight any areas where you might have caught the sun it's ultra flattering i like to put it on all over um, and now that i've worn it on holiday i feel like the smell is going to remind me of this trip as well but what you could also do because it's got almost it's almost like a highlighter you could just pop it on your collarbone you could use a little brush or you could pop it on your shins as a highlight you can see it's literally just adding the most gorgeous glow to my skin definitely a better mirror for showing you my outfit of the evening here and you can see my arms my chest it just has a really lovely glow and I've popped some on my ankles my shins as well so this is my outfit of the evening we're heading to a place um, a lovely I do think it's a fairly relaxed tapas bar um, but first we are meeting Jay and Lala for cocktails on their hotel's room terrace <laughs> This is the hotel that Jay and Lilla are staying in. It's called the Whitmore. It's a really beautiful boutique hotel. They've got a living wall. And it's a really gorgeous spot. Tiny little hotel tucked away in the side street. But we definitely 
have a little look and see if we can stay here next time. So we've arrived for our dinner location. This is a restaurant that came very highly recommended by Rory. He actually said it's one of the best restaurants he's ever been to. However, it's very smart and Media Manga is the slightly more casual um, sister restaurant. So this is where we are coming for our dinner this evening. But next time we're in Barcelona, we will definitely visit Montbar. <laughs> so, for the perfect croquette... Is it so that your vision is impaired so that your taste is better? Exactly. So I'm not judging anything visually, but texture-wise it's crunchy, but you can tell it's going to be fluffy inside. Right. From your perspective, the ingredients are traditional. They're ham on Iberico rather than chicken or something a little bit bougier. Right. The crunch as you cut in is good. Um, and we're going to go in for the taste test. Is it the best croquette of the trip so far? Mm. Does it beat the Soho Barcelona? Mm. Oh, mm. Yes. Mm. Best of the trip. 64. Well, you heard it here first. The best croquette in Barcelona. That seriously is the best so far. Our ads. Where are we? Manga. Media Manga. Media Manga. Media Manga. heading home this evening but we always like to book our return journeys as late as possible so that we can get a full day wherever we are traveling to uh, so we're going to spend the majority of the day at the hotel but i have an exciting little mission this morning a little bit of a backstory when well so many of you very kindly always send me photos of wedding dresses that you think that I would love and one of you, one of you sent me a photo of a pink dress from a brand called Air Barcelona. You can see where this story is going um, and I thought it was absolutely beautiful, I love the shape of it and I clicked on the brand's Instagram page and I followed them and I liked a couple of their pictures, I replied to a couple of their stories basically they got back to me and they said hello Josie we just spotted that you're in Spain would you like to come and meet us at our headquarters and try on a few dresses so I thought what a wonderful thing to do at this very moment in time I'm yet to find my wedding dress so I'm totally up for trying as many dresses as possible Spain is actually very well known for the most beautiful wedding dresses I always 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 lusted over the Rosa Clara wedding dresses and I believe that this is the same company because where we're going now is actually the Rosa Clara headquarters so it's bright and early we got a taxi at half seven this morning and um, I think we're going to be able to try on some lovely dresses so it'll be really nice to try something a bit different compare a Spanish made wedding dress to English made wedding dresses gosh I'm having a very bad hair day considering I'm doing a wedding dress try on um, but it should be great fun so we are about 10 minutes away and um, yeah hopefully I can vlog when we're there because that would be very exciting to share with you hour that I've been here. So within Rosa Clara, Aire is another brand and this is Aire Atelier. So every part of this dress can be customized. We are discussing different skirt fabrics, different top fabrics. This beautiful little bow is removable. The bodice is beautifully structured and it's just a lot of fun trying on lots of different designs. I'm going to try on one now, which is one that I absolutely fell in love with on Instagram with a scallop detail. But what do we think of the tool? So beautiful. Yeah.
Las malas somos nosotras. <risa> Okay, I'm on the road again after the loveliest experience with the ladies at Aire, pronounced it wrong to begin with, and Rosa Clara. Uh, they were explaining how the business worked and the various lines within the business. Aire, Rosa Clara, the uh, couture lines, basically anything is possible. They showed me so many of their gorgeous um, designs from last year, from this year, and from the historical collections and their dresses are sensational. I was able to see the um, atelier studio where the ladies were actually making the dresses. Such talented ladies doing all of these amazing design details, gorgeous silhouettes, and as you saw, tried on a few dresses as well. So I definitely have a lot to think about. I probably need to start making my mind up when it comes to wedding dresses, um, seeing as we're only just over a year away from the big day. But that was a really lovely way to start the day. I'm very grateful to them for inviting me in. I'm now heading back to the hotel, I'm gonna have some breakfast, and then I think we're going to spend the rest of the day up on the roof terrace. I definitely wanna have the potato sprabas and um, the ham croquettes again. I still think the rooftop of Soha House is my favorite food in Barcelona. But Charlie would probably say where we ate last night because that was rather incredible as well. But anyway, we're almost here. I will see you shortly. Well, hello again, my darlings. It's a few hours since we last spoke and it was a very relaxing couple of hours and then a very stressful couple of hours. And as always, I'm not gonna be telling you this story to um, complain, but more as a little bit of a warning, especially as travel is a little bit manic this summer and um, hopefully you might learn something from our mistake. So we had a really gorgeous afternoon at um, the Soho house. We reserved um, a little area by the pool which was great because there's probably only about eight beds there so you really do have to reserve them um, and then it did a little bit of work there while we were allowed to <laughs> not allowed laptops um, in that area after 11. And then had a glorious lunch, my favorite croquetas, patatas bravas, and jamón. So that was really, really wonderful. Um, and then we checked out of the hotel, and I have to say the staff were absolutely incredible, especially Victor. <laughs> he was amazing. Um, they were very, very careful to warn us about the crime in Barcelona at the moment. He even walked us to our car with the cases. So they're very, very... Um, they're very good at keeping you alert. So then we dropped our dropped our vehicle rental off at the airport, went to, to the front of the queue to check into our flight and we were told that the flight was full and that because we hadn't checked in online, which we normally do, we're normally very good at doing that, but for some reason we just completely forgot this time, because we hadn't checked in online, we were not gonna be able to be fit on the airplane and the next flight is not until tomorrow morning which immediately you might think, oh, that's fine, another night in Barcelona, but actually it would have been, by the time we got back to the city center or into a hotel, it would have been like 6 p.m. and then a 7 a.m. flight in the morning, so no real extra time <laughs> to enjoy Barcelona. And I've got a full shoot day tomorrow, shooting lots of campaigns, so Charlie and I were pretty stressed, <laughs> to say the least. But long story short, um, after waiting until the desk completely closed, oh, and also, <laughs> We booked business, got downgraded to economy, and then got downgraded to be booted off the plane. Um, long story short, after an hour of us stressing, just as the gate was closing, they told us that we could fit on the plane. So we've just run all the way to the gate and managed to get on. Phew! <laughs> so the moral of the story is check into your flight and book your seats as soon as you can, as soon as check-in opens, and don't leave it until you get to the airport. And now, typical, our flight is actually <laughs> delayed, hence why I'm able to stand here and um, tell you this story. But that's my words of wisdom, so that you don't make the same mistakes that we do. But anyway, 
just had to change location slightly because I was really embarrassed that there was someone stood a few meters away from me while I was talking to the camera. I still can't confidently vlog <laughs> in public. Um, but anyway, we're going home. We won't miss the shoot day, which is great. And we've had a fabulous five days, four nights here in Spain. So darlings, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.